Hello, everyone. Uh, good afternoon. Um, today, my topic is about uh, factors affecting the efficacy of the MRGFUS uh, for bone uh, metastasis uh, results from Monte Center study in China. So, as we, we all know, bone metastasis uh, can cause pain fracture and the spinal uh, cord compression and uh, hypercalcemia. So uh, bone mm, pain caused by cancer metastasis uh, con contributes substantially uh, to morbidity and mortality in patients with uh, malignant uh, carcinoma. So patients with bone metastasis can get bad benefits from MRGFUS treatment. It can uh, save uh, more time and energy than other tissues and uh, uh, can destroy the nerve endings uh, and induce coagulation and necrosis of bone uh, metastasis uh, lesions. So question comes, uh, is MRGFUS a safe and effective fact method for patients with painful bone metastasis and who benefits more from MRGFUS? And uh, this is our inclusion uh, criteria and the exclusion criteria. So, uh, our uh, participants uh, uh, are divided into four uh, groups according to lesion number, KPS, and NPVR, and lesion types. And after MRGFUS treatment, the BPI, QOL, and uh, NRS, MDID uh, were recorded. So, the table shows our patient characteristics and the number of patients followed up in three uh, centers at different time points. So uh, this slide shows uh, the advantage of MRG FUS. Uh, we can ident identify and uh, target uh, tumors and provide uh, temperature monitoring of the treated tissue in real time. So uh, let's see the results. Uh, this table shows the adverse event events after MRGFUS treatment and uh, uh, or all patients with uh, adverse events recovered with one to 50, 52 days after uh, uh, corresponding treatment. And uh, with comparison uh, between our study and the PMA study, uh, we can see the the pain relief uh, ratio uh, was similar to PMA study. So uh, we got the similar uh, results. And this, this picture shows a, a 45 year old female patient with lung cancer and, and uh, FIG A and B. Uh, shows the uh, axial uh, uh, CT and uh, T2 uh, weighted image uh, before treatment uh, in the lesion uh, of uh, ILEC. And uh, uh, after three months uh, of treatment, uh, we can see uh, in FIG F and G, uh, there's no uh, enhancement in the lesion area. So we can see the uh, NRS uh, decreased from 6.7 to 
uh, uh, 3.7. And uh, the BPI QOL uh, score uh, significantly decreased after treatment at all time points. So uh, at three months after treatment, the mean data B BPI QOL score improvement in patients with solitary uh, bone metastasis are statistically superior to the group of multiple bone metastasis. So there is no uh, uh, significant difference in uh, of delta B P I Q L uh, in group of uh, divided by KPS score and NPVR score. So at one week and one month after treatment, the mean delta B P I Q L scores improvement in patients with osteogenic bone metastasis were statistically superior to the, the other uh, two groups. So we can get the conclusion. MRGFUS can be used as a safe and effective method for treating painful bone metastasis and patients with uh, osteogenic uh, metastasis and the solitary metastasis were prone to obtain better efficacy, which helps in patients selecting and predicting the arc term of uh, MRGFUS. Thank you. Thank you very much. Can I just ask you what, which system you, you were using to do your treatments? Uh, uh, XBIT uh, 2100. Thank you.